In this video, I'm going to show you how to pop your collarbone safely at home. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe here at Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. So if you're dealing with like a lot of dull, achy pain right here at the breastplate or the sternum that kind of travels over possibly even to the shoulder, you might have an issue with the clavicle or the collarbone. So what we're going to do is focus on a light pulling or traction motion into this joint right here that is going to help open it up, get it moving a lot more freely, and hopefully get you a lot of quick pain relief. You might actually start feeling better in as little as 30 seconds. So let's get started with it. The first things that we need to do are identify our contact points for the self-adjustment, self-mobilization, self-reset, whatever you want to call it. On my hand, you're going to notice that I'm going to use this meaty part right here. This is our contact point that is going to go over the collarbone. So make sure that you use this nice meaty portion. To find the contact point on the clavicle or the collarbone, go right into the middle of the chest right here, right over the sternum or the breastplate. And I'm going to feel off to the side right here at the top. You should feel two large mounds. That is generally where the clavicle attaches to the sternum. So what I'm going to do is take that meaty portion of the hand and I'm going to place it right at the edge of that mound. My hand goes at a nice upward angle just like this and make sure you don't jab yourself in the neck. You kind of want it just like this. So that is going to be our contact for this upcoming adjustment. So let's get started with that. So we're going to do this self-adjustment, self-mobilization technique lying flat on our back in a bed. Whatever side that you're looking to pop or crack with that clavicle, scoot over to the edge of the bed until the shoulder and the arm can just completely overhang. What we want to do is raise our arm to about a 45 degree angle just like this. Let gravity take it as much as you feel comfortable. You should feel a very nice stretch right here into the chest and the pec muscles. It's very important that we stretch these out because it's going to make it a lot easier to get that joint self-tractioned and get that uh, movement that we're looking for. So I just do this and then I relax, hold it for about 15 seconds, and then just repeat that three to five times. The second part, we're going to take that meaty portion of the hand and we're going to go over the uh, contact point on the collarbone that we talked about earlier in this video. So I just place it right there. I'm gonna take my arm out again at 45 degrees, let gravity take it, but the movement with this hand right here is I'm going to lift up and then over. So I'm pretty much driving it towards this shoulder, towards that arm that's at 45 degrees out. So let me show you what I mean by it. I have my contact point right here, gravity has taken it. I'm going to lift up and then over towards that shoulder. And I tell you what, if that clavicle is locked up, you might get a sudden pop or crack completely normal. What that is is just tiny gas bubbles releasing from the joint and making that knuckle crack sound. If you don't get the crack, don't worry about it. Instead, what you want to do is hold this position right here for about five to ten seconds, relax, and then repeat that three to five times as a very good traction stretch into the breastplate and into that uh, collarbone. And afterwards, just notice how much motion you feel like you have. If it feels like there's less stiffness, less achiness, less pain, you know it's working for you and definitely continue with it. So give it a try, I hope it helps. So if you got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And thank you for watching.